Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the 2016 GoPro Hero Session camera, as well as two other accessories, the Mi Premium Flexible Tripod and the Amazon Basics Camera Head Strap. Now I'm relatively new to the action camera market and after researching went with these choices for the following reasons. The newer Hero Session, not to be confused with the Hero 4 or 5 Session, can be obtained for under $200, is waterproof to about 10 feet or so without another case, and is super compact with one button recording and more control through GoPro's app. Just to clarify, because it is a little confusing, this is the same camera technology as last year's Hero 4 Session. GoPro cut the price in half following mediocre sales and updated the body and firmware to fix common problems like slow app connectivity and overheating. This year's Hero 5 Black and Session editions offer updated camera technology, so definitely check those out if you have the budget. I primarily intend to use this for concerts and music festivals, so it has to be able to shoot in both full sun and at night while being safe and discreet. I was also looking at the Yi action cameras. Uh, their middle of the range model can be had for the same price, about $200, and their baseline camera goes for $99. It was a tough choice, but honestly not needing the extra case was what sold me. Technically, yes, the Yi 4K shoots better, 4K at 30 frames a second and 1080p at 120 frames per second for the same price, but after seeing some comparison footage, I decided it would be negligible. Honestly, if audio wasn't a factor and I was just taking this on my bicycle, I would have gone with a different brand for sure. This just seemed to fit my needs specifically. As for the tripod, I went with the Flexible Me Premium for its versatility. As opposed to just a hand stick or a stiff conventional tripod, the flexible legs let you set up a level shot anywhere, plus you can straighten them out and use them for a hand grip anyway. Anyway, that's enough jib jab, let's open the darn thing. So yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, move all of this right out of the way and we'll get to the good stuff, the GoPro. And there she is. Pretty, right? Yeah, so this is it. Once you open the main chamber of the box, it's just revealed with the stock charging cable, a basic uh, GoPro mount here, two of their uh, sticky adhesive mounts, one is curved for helmets and things like that, uh, basic manuals, documentation stuff, and stickers. As for the tripod itself, I was actually mistaken. Uh, from the pictures online, I thought these were all individual ball socket kind of linkages there, but it actually feels more like it's one uh, wire maybe on the inside of this, and then all of this is just a soft kind of a rubbery shield. So I don't really have to worry about the linkages popping apart. I've heard with some of those ball socket tripods, uh, yeah, they are flexible, but uh, those linkages are meant to come apart so and be customizable. So don't really have to worry about that much with here. And then up at the top, there's another ball socket joint here that starts pulling the leg away. So all in all, seems pretty solid. Looking very much forward to using it. Also has a universal phone mount, so it'll actually stretch completely to accommodate your phone and it'll screw in the back or with the vertical mount over there. Pretty cool. We'll probably actually use this. I do have a smaller phone tripod, but uh, it does not have flexible legs. It's a little flimsy, so this will definitely come in handy. 
So that's my take on it, guys. And now it's time for the big question. Should you buy any of these things? Absolutely. For its combination of features, price, and audiovisual quality, this GoPro seems like a solid choice. The mid-range Hero 5 Session is fancier and only $100 more, but is limited by the same battery life and still doesn't have a screen. Definitely either stick with the basic Session for a budget, or just go all out for the Hero 5 Black. The tripod is doing great so far, and the combination of materials lets this thing hook onto almost anything. I found it super handy in the car, as it can be hung from the hand grips or even between the passenger head and backrest. Last but not least, the 64GB card is working out nicely also. The camera would have to be recharged multiple times in order to completely fill it, so I think we'll be in top shape come festival season with two 64GB cards and an external battery charger. The Amazon Basics head strap is totally worth it for the couple dollars that it costs, but a hat or helmet is completely mandatory unless you're bald. I am not, so I look pretty silly. Please don't be like me. Well that's it guys, thank you very much for watching and make sure to look for the FestiFam this summer. I'll catch you all at the main stage.